So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, in this example, first thing we want to do is we see that um, we have ln, but we want to go ahead and uh, look at our u substitution. And so we could say, all right, well, let's make u equals ln of x. And therefore, if I want to do du, that's going to be 1 over x dx, which I have in this case, right? So that's good. Um, the other thing, though, is remember when I'm integrating or evaluating an integral, I can evaluate for e and 2, but usually that's a little bit more difficult. If I'm going to integrate using u substitution, I can find kind of like my new endpoints. So what I'll do is I'm just going to plug in u sub e, which is ln of e, which you guys should notice the ln of e if you guys remember the, uh, um, the rules of exponent or rules of logarithms. E, e raised to what value gives you e? 1. You could even ln, huh? ln of e, rules of. No, I'll write down some rules of logarithms again for you in a second. Um, and then we could do e of 2, or u of 2, which is ln of 2, which if we had a calculator, we could do that. But again, we wouldn't want to really do that anyways, because um, that's going to give us some irrational number. And we usually like to keep it as um, constant. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this ln of 2 over to 1. And then I have 1 over u du. So now I can integrate this to ln of u from 1 to ln of 2. Right? So you integrate, and then you're going to have to evaluate it from 1 to ln of 2. So you have the ln of absolute value of 1, which is just 1, um, minus ln of ln of 2. Well, ln of 1 is basically saying e raised to what value gives you 1, which is 0. So therefore, your final answer is negative ln of absolute value of 2. All right, I'll do it.